Hello! So today's video, I want to talk about the cycling in Thailand. Yes, yeah, so before going to Thailand, I actually used to bike a lot where I live. I currently own a um, mountain bike, so I would use that to move around. I would bike around 20 kilometers a day, and sometimes the most I did was 90 kilometers. So I was pretty fit, and I like I really like to bike. So, and I consider myself really good. I was like, yeah, I'm really good. I mean, I would compare myself with my friends or my family. And I was like, yeah, I'm so good. I would also watch um, the tour of Italy or the Giro d'Italia. And I was like, yeah, I'm so inspired. I, I'm gonna keep doing this. It's gonna be so awesome when I get to Thailand because of the mountains. Because where I live, it's totally flat. It's like, no. So, um, so then when I got to Thailand, I didn't actually bring my bike because it was like, it's a second hand bike and it's not really in the best shape. And also it's really heavy. And so, no, I was like, I know I'm not bringing my bike, but I also knew that when I got to Thailand, I would rent a bike. So... I didn't rent a bike the first two weeks of traveling because I was just moving around from island to island. And, um, but when I got to Chiang Mai, which was when the festival started, I did rent a bike. And there would be events like going up the mountain Doi Sutep, which is one of the biggest mountains in Chiang Mai. And it's like a really amazing um, climb up there. And there's a temple at the top. It's really awesome. So there would be morning rides to Doi Su Tep, like uh, it was organized by the festival and stuff like that. And it was led by Harley. And so I, I think I went the third time, the third day, which was, um, at, oh, and it was at seven o'clock. We would meet at the, at the hostel or at the, what's it called? At the hotel. And... We would all go together as a group and go up the mountain. So uh, with my bike, I rented like a hybrid and the the gears weren't working. They were like really hard. So I was like, okay, I can do this, blah, blah, blah. I didn't actually think of how big this mountain was. I was just like, yeah, I, I'm pretty good at cycling. I'm, I think I'm going to do this, whatever. So then we get to, I was going with a friend of mine, like, together and so as I was saying before my camera died uh, we were going up so we were at the base of the mountain and that was like I was going up blah 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 and it was kind of like steep so then I was just trying to because I was on the same gear I was on the highest gear possible the hardest one so um, as I was climbing the mountain it was getting harder and harder every time and I would just see like people passing me and I was like oh my god I can do this blah blah, blah. Um, so then I had to actually stop several times because I was getting lightheaded and I was just like oh my god no it's like it was hot it was so hard to climb so then I walked like for a little bit because it was way too hard and then in my head I was like no I just want to I'm just gonna, cause apparently like at the halfway point, um, there was like a uh, place you can rest and whatever. I was like, okay, when I get there, I'm just gonna turn around, blah, blah, blah. And then I got there and I was so tired. I just, I was just exhausted. But then I stumbled upon two, two friends and they were like, yeah, like we were just talking about how hard it was and kind of complaining a little bit. And we were like, okay, no, let's do it together, blah, blah, blah. So then... Us three were like encouraging each other to go up the mountain and push harder and just keep going because we were gonna we we're gonna see everybody and we we're gonna be so proud of ourselves so then <laughs> it was so funny because we were pushing each other and we were like saying like yeah we can do it but at the same time we were speaking out loud to ourselves um, to encourage ourselves as well so then I finally got to the top and it was, it felt amazing. I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe I did, like I did that by myself. Well, not literally by myself because I was with other people, but like I did that and it was amazing. 
and the climb, the view was so pretty. It was super awesome. So back to my point, the cycling was amazing. I thought I was gonna be amazing. I was like, yeah, I can do this, blah, blah, blah. But then everybody else is like super amazing and it was just unbelievable. Um, a thing I'm gonna do for next time is probably buy a bike in Thailand, a uh, road bike, and bring it with me whenever I travel and wherever I travel because it's so easy to just pot, like get on your bike and ride wherever you want. And I didn't actually just, I actually just went up the mountain once because it was really hard and I was like, eh, I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> yes. But my friend, um, the girl I, I traveled with, she, uh, she went up the mountain like four times. I was pretty impressed. And her bike was worse than mine. So kudos to you, Courtney. Um, so yeah. Um, overall, I thought the cycling in Thailand was amazing. Um, I would definitely, I would definitely do it again and totally recommend it to anybody that's traveling to Thailand or anywhere around the world. If you can and you like biking, then take your bike and just, it's so easy, seriously. Um, so yeah, everybody in the festival was so fit. I was like, I was like, seriously, I gotta do better than this next time. For now on, I'm gonna push harder, carve the fuck up, and just ride. Rode my bike really. <laughs> She's not gonna let me do the video. Emma, <laughs> oh my god, she's so adorable. Anyways, before Thailand, before... Look at her face. She's so precious. This is what my cat just brought me. Uh, poor bird. Emma. Oh my God. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And peace out. Till next time.